police chief made illegal this bad guy. This police chief made illegal this bad veterans in Gettysburg. Jake, he doesn't want you behind him. I don't want him to hide my triple attempted murder. How's the field want? Sheriff sure, and Gettysburg Police. Can I get a press line? It's legal to stab veterans in Gettysburg. Thanks to Sergeant Pride, the Gettysburg Police. Sergeant Pride, do you hear me? Can I get a it's legal to stab Gettysburg. There he goes. Get out of here, you coward. Hey, Chief Glenn, you, you know my YouTube channel's not monetized, right? All I'm doing is exposing how rot gut you coward veterans are. You coward Gettysburgers are. Hot potato. That's all I'm doing here. If you guys wouldn't hit my triple attempted murder, I, I wouldn't be here right now. So how'd you get off for stabbing me? Well, uh, I'm not off. How you keep it from shaking? Huh? Because I'm freezing right now. No, no, because I'm upset. I'm shaking because I'm upset. Because I'm looking at a guy that has the absolute exact power to do something about this time, town hiding my triple attempted murder. And as Chief Robert Glenny Jr. of the Gettysburg Police Department, you are standing here ignoring it. Hot potato. This guy right opinion. here, yes, this guy opinion. right here is the perfect epitome example of Gettysburger. When you come to Gettysburg, you'll meet this guy. And if one of his cronies pleads out the disorderly conduct illegally, he'll just stand there and watch. And this is how they treat their veterans. Could you imagine what they'll do to just some random one of y'all that come to visit Gettysburg? Chief has no comment on what happens if you get stabbed at the Gettysburg Walmart because it's outside his jurisdiction. But then if they try to hide that illegal sentence of him getting stabbed, pleading out the disorderly conduct for stabbing you, if they try to hide that in his jurisdiction, he's gonna stand around and do exactly what you're seeing right now. That's, that's, that's showing us your war face, Chief Glennie. Get it, he's walking away. You get it, the coward was running away. That's, that's his war face. Hey, hey, Chief Glenn, if somebody stabbed you at Walmart, do you think they'd get charged for stabbing you? Or do you think that uh, they'd uh, get to plead out the disorderly conduct? Chief Glenn? Chief Glenn, if you were at the Gettysburg Walmart and some, some local crony stabbed you. Discussions with this biggie's done. Well, you can, but I'm still going to discuss with you. Chief Glenn, so if, if you got stabbed at the Gettysburg Walmart, do you think that uh, the guy that stabbed you would get charged with stabbing you? If, if you got stabbed at the Gettysburg Walmart, do you think the guy that stabbed you would get charged with stabbing you? Please back away from my officer, Jake. He didn't approach you, you approached him. Back away. Well, I'm just walking around to get a shot. I didn't even know he was there. I'm too busy trying to talk to you. Who you said you weren't talking to me anymore. And our conversation is over. I told you I've discussed this with you. Well, that's fine, but I'm going to sit here and still talk to you because it makes a perfect example of how you boys stand around and watch. This is exactly how you boys hid uh, Cosby's 40 years worth of raping. Hey, hey, hey! This is exactly how you guys hid Sandusky. I want to place my hands right in the area of his rear end. This is Pennsylvania. This is exactly, you guys had to serve, your Pennsylvania boys had to serve little boys up to, up to a football coach in a locker. As I approach, my head and eyes are on the target. So if you guys want a good example of how, how Pennsylvania police uh, make, make the most worst atrocities legal, you're watching it. Because this guy right here can do something about an out-of-town veteran getting stabbed, and he's standing around watching. The first rule about the blue coat of silence is that you don't talk about the blue coat of silence. And do you see this frame? Do you see how we're in Gettysburg? And there's a whole bunch of tourist crap going on. And here's this cop. Here's this police officer who could be doing something to help all these people that show up right now by not allowing a repeat violent farms offender to continue to walk around them and their children. And he's not. You know why? Because if they acknowledged it, it would ruin this tourist dollar. The second rule about the blue credit science is you never f with the money. Now look, there's Tommy's Pizza. So after you visit Gettysburg, see the parade, Get stabbed by a local, have this douchebag hide it, you can go have pizza right there at Tommy's Corner. Gettysburg. Gettysburg. The third rule about the blue coat of silence is that you always trust in the blue coat of silence. Well, maybe you should report me to the federal government for not doing my job. Well, you know, eventually when this breaks, eventually when this Sandusky scandal breaks in your town, 
and you're caught holding the bag, they are gonna wanna look at you, boy. Okay. I'm here to show you the same police that hide uh, stabbing uh, from an out-of-town veteran for one of their local cronies will also hide a uh, thrown chomo case for one of their local cronies tied up into the HUD fraud racket. So everyone's watching. Okay. Um, this is a uh, finding of the facts from a court where they okay. threw the child molestation case. Our county housing office was investigated for HUD fraud at the same time the program manager got hit with 12 felony charges for sexually assaulting a pair of little girls. Do you see how they slip in here that they lost the pictures of a child's sexual assault exam? All other pictures are there, sequentially numbered, except for the sequentially missing pictures of a 10-year-old's torn vagina. So for, I don't, unfortunately, the, I fraud. don't know any of these. Oh, I know, that's why I'm informing you. I can only deal with crimes that happen within Gettysburg Borough. This is Burrow. within Gettysburg Borough at the okay. Gettysburg Hospital. Okay. The police that we're investigating lost child sexual assault now, when you say pictures. the police, who are the police that we're investigating? I believe it would be the state police and or the DA, which okay. the DA works up there, and these are missing child rape kit pictures okay. in your jurisdiction. So there is a way to handle that. That mm -hmm. is with the agency that lost the picture. You've already, I'm here it has to report already been a crime. explained to you how to take care of that. How, what, what? How do I do this? You need to go file a complaint with the state police. Because he's a lead investigator, he also lost child rape kit pictures for that big investigation in the Phil Coffin case that would have exposed the hunt fraud and this entire barrack saw it. He's really f***ing with us. He's really f***ing with us. Pardon me? You're from Fulton County still? We've never lived in Fulton County. He was just using a dirty tag from that county to legitimize a stop. Mr. Fornwalt? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. there's a there's one of your officers hiding ra child rape kit pictures, and you're over okay. here following you us out of here after I report this. Doesn't the state matter. police you, threw it. This is a crime committed that. in your jurisdiction. The state police has a way to report what you believe is wrong. State Police, Gettysburg, PCO Garrett. Hi, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm Jake Bilsma. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with me. Um, I'm trying to expose a uh, Pennsylvania police uh, throwing chomo case, pedophile case. And I've, I've contacted uh, Troop H about it multiple times. And like one of the times I went in there, um, one of your officers followed me out to conduct a retaliatory stop. Um, so uh, um, none of nobody's addressed it. And then also... Um, I've gone into the um, Gettysburg uh, police and they say that uh, because one of your officers lost uh, evidence from a child rape kit case, uh, pictures, like the only pictures that, 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 that was, you know, showing um, sexual assault on a little girl. And um, Gettysburg said that even though that crime happened in their jurisdiction, it was a state police investigation. So therefore, I'd have to contact the state police. And I'm kind of tentative to go in there because, you know, not only did uh, Troop H Gettysburg Barracks hide my triple attempted murder for Glenn Kessler, but last time I went in there and reported this, um, I got followed out and retaliatory stopped. So I was wondering if there was a way that I could... I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Continue. No, I was wondering if there was a way I could talk to a detective over the phone so I could report this because Gettysburg... <laughs> Uh, police said hang, hang on, to report it to y'all. Thank you. The fourth rule of the Blue Code of Silence is to wait out the statute of limitations. I'm sorry. What did you need? So you need to speak to some. How long ago was this case? Uh, oh, it's within the statute of limitations, especially because it's uh, for a rape okay, kit. My, my question is, when did this occur? What year? I believe it was uh, 2018. So that's within the statute of limitations for uh, rape, right? Seven years? I'm not sure. Well, I am. That's why I'm reporting it to y'all. May okay, I talk? That, that, that's, that's fine. And what is your telephone number? No, may, may I talk with a investigator? I need, I need your telephone number because I don't know if I have anybody back in the crime room. 
Okay, it is area code. All right, I'll see if I have anybody back there and they'll return your call. Whoa, whoa, ma'am. Do you mind yeah. uh, putting me on hold because I, I'm 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 a journalist and I get a lot no, of calls. I, I can't put you on hold. That's tying up an emergency line, so I cannot do that. Okay. Well, would would you okay. mind transferring me over to the detective I, desk and I'll leave a message. A part of, okay. I specifically said to you that I would go back and see if I had anybody there, and they will return your call. Uh huh. And so I specifically exactly asked you, and I specifically asked you if you wouldn't mind transferring me. I can't do that because I don't know who's back there. Okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna bounce right back to me anyway. Would you mind giving it a shot? You're tying up an emergency line. I said I would go back and see if somebody was back. This there is the non-emergency line, is it not? I called the non-emergency line. They're not going to call back. The third rule about the blue code of silence is that you always trust in the blue code of silence. That's going to be a complaint you can take up with the chief of police. Well, maybe you should report me to the federal government for not doing my job. Well, you know, eventually when this breaks, eventually when this Sandusky scandal breaks in your town and you're caught holding the bag, they are going to want to look at you, boy. Okay. The fifth rule of the blue code of silence is to maintain public dignity. This is Chief cheering on a crowd of hecklers. He had this lady heckling me that my stabbing had nothing to do with her and her kids. There's a way to handle that. That is with the agency that lost the picture. Shame! 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 That's going to be a complaint you can take up with the chief of police. Yes. Get out of here, you coward! Ooh, Chief, we love you. Thank you so much for protecting me and my children. I'm here to show you the same police that hide uh, stabbing uh, from an out-of-town veteran f for one of their local cronies will also hide a uh, thrown chomo case for one of their local cronies. But it's really not Mama Karen's fault. She's not allowed to know this. This is Vanessa Pellicchio, our lead investigative reporter for the paper. I can give you this. Can I give you that? You just watched me data dump all of this to our lead investigative reporter. Whom is a very capable reporter when the publisher allows her to print. And he's not. You know why? Because if they acknowledged it, it would ruin this tourist dollar. The second rule about the blue code of science is you never f the money. This police chief makes it illegal and better isn't getting better. Hey, way to show, way to show America uh, what veterans, what Gettysburg does. Hey, everyone, come to... Come to Gettysburg. If you're a veteran, get stabbed. If you have kids, get them diddled. And that's why it's important to support your local citizen journalists. They stand up to deliver you the news that's too good to go to print. Hey, much love, y'all. I just wanted to thank the community that came out and support me. We got Annapolis audit. He's living a parallel life as me exposing the corruption in Annapolis. Can I get a flat we got first capital transparency. Hey, Chief, I'll trade you straight up my 2002 Saturn for that there. He's a really interesting guy, and he's got these full clips of this event up on his channel. And we got Van Dan over here. Sorry, Dan, I meant to say Spartan. Dan and First Capital Transparency are fantastic representatives of the good people of Pennsylvania trying to make change. And Cope Dog did make the picture, but he showed up and filmed. Go subscribe to his channel so he can go live next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. Much love from nothing but love for this community. Thank Cold you. Whole day to be out. <laughs> We're out here. We back each other. Absolutely. Much love, y'all. Thank you. I got a whole series of these videos up on the channel. It's been a four-year investigative journey to get here. The state judiciary runs a real estate and bankruptcy racket out of my county. They hit me with four years of retaliatory charges for covering this as press. That's why the state attorney general took over prosecuting the case, whom I later beat, in court, and then he got elected governor. True Pennsylvania story. It's all up on the channel. As you could imagine, the state's trying pretty hard to keep this story from coming out. Scandals this big typically only break through peer-to-peer -peer shares. So, please, share this story with your friends and any other interested parties. 